keeping up without getting down. As we navigate the choppy waters of middle age, the significance of health becomes as clear as, well, the reading glasses that we all now seem to need for every single menu. The media bombards us with images of age-defying celebrities who claim the secret to eternal youth is a kale smoothie, a sunrise yoga on a paddleboard, and teeth from Turkey. But for those of us whose idea of a balanced diet is, well, holding a bottle of beer in one hand and a chicken kebab in the other, these standards can seem as well as attainable as climbing Mount Everest in bloody flip-flops and Hawaiian shorts. The Great Kale Conspiracy. Now, remember when spinach was the leafy green of choice? No? Actually, nor me, but to be fair, we've all kind of watched the Popeye cartoon, so at least it was sort of popular. But then, suddenly, kale burst onto the scene, touted as the superhero of superfoods. I actually decided to give it a try, blending it into a smoothie. The result? Tasted like I'd licked a in lawnmower. It seems that kale's popularity isn't due to its flavour, but its resemblance to what our prehistoric ancestors might have actually foraged for. Who knew? I mean, they probably ate dinosaur shit too. And thank Christ we grew out of that, otherwise there'll be some people somewhere probably suggesting we put our own shit into a blender too. Well, there is, but wow. Yoga, twisting yourself into a curly whirly for peace of mind. Now yoga is another trend that promises to stretch your way to serenity. So look, I took a class aiming to find my inner zen. Instead, I found muscles I didn't know existed and they were so bloody angry. They just didn't want to be found. They preferred to be underused and irrelevant to my day-to-day -day life. You see, there I was, a middle-aged man amidst a sea of limber, fitter and suppler individuals trying to hold a downward dog, accidentally facing the wrong way, by the way, with my arse in the instructor's face, desperately and silently praying for the sweet release of my flat-on-my-back pose. A pose that I do really well, without effort and without alcohol. Finding what actually works. Look, after surviving the kale and yoga experiments, I've kind of learned that the best and most truthful approach to health is often the simplest one, moderation. Instead of chasing the latest diet or fitness craze, I discovered the joy in walking Penfold Pug, the kind where you can actually take in the scenery without gasping for breath. And a balanced diet, well, it turns out it's not about eliminating foods, but enjoying a variety of them in reasonable amounts. I mean, who'd have thought, right? Balancing physical health with mental well-being. Now, the quest for physical health is a noble one, but let's not forget the mind. In our pursuit of body that defies age, we must also tend to our mental health, cultivating practices that bring us peace and joy. Now, for me, it was cooking. There's something really profoundly therapeutic about cooking. It's as if each slice, chop and taste helps to just clear my mental clutter. Laughter yoga. Yes, it is a real thing. Some American probably came up with this and became, well, as rich as Tony Robbins. But use laughter as an exercise. It's like discovering that a beer is a superfood. Spoiler, it's not, but we can only dream. Meditation. Now, sitting quietly for 10 minutes a day, not to find enlightenment, but to appreciate the rare silence, is like a spa day for your brain and without the embarrassment of realising you should have put trunks on in the sauna. Hobby time. Now, whether it's model building, painting or learning the guitar, hobbies aren't just for kids. They're a stress reliever, like a mental vacation to a place where the only goal is enjoyment and without the noisy kids jumping in the bloody pool every 30 seconds. You see, in the end, health isn't just about living forever. Even the immortal Freddie Mercury asked the question, who wants to live forever? See, it's about living well and living better. It's finding the balance between the body's needs and the soul's cravings. It's about laughter, love, and occasionally a good piece of cake. Sorry, Kale, but you are just shit. So let's keep it up without getting down. Embracing health as a journey, not a destination. After all, in the grand adventure of life, it's not just about the years in our life, but the life in our years.